Hello YouTube. In this video I will show you guys what was inside one of these um, LMB units that you would find in a DirecTV dish or any kind of satellite dish in general. Um, I already broke it apart because it would take way too much time to do on the camera. As you can tell um, there's some kind of red insulation and that's because there is a, uh, to keep it waterproof, um, there is a case on the bottom, the cover was um, put on um, the back and covered in insulation basically lined with it and so basically I had to go um, on this insulation with a little screwdriver and remove that excess insulation chop off one piece of aluminum case on the case here you can see there's a little um, denture in there that's because I um, was right there and I basically removed that um, insulation frame part of the case then I just used a hammer or a solid hammer blow right to that area and it the, basically the back casing flew off so I was able to easily get into this so um, once I got in I was of course as you can see all those holes are screws every one of them there, 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 there. You know, all those little tiny holes are all screws. So um, be aware that when you take these apart, especially double and triples, you're going to be encountering with a lot of screws. Um, and so I had a, another piece of cast aluminum that I encountered that was covering part of the circuit boards underneath. And as you can tell, there's like a steel screw there that's really hard to remove. So I'm probably going to have to use some force to remove that to get some clean aluminum like this so there's some nice clean aluminum and there's a little piece of plastic um, with a gasket right here this little um, thing covered this hole here above um, this little rubber washer gasket kind of thing And there are two circuit boards that were connected with solder. Um, as you can tell, the boards are very thinly plated because see that looks silver, but when you tilt it, it actually looks gold. Um, so this is a very, very thin quality gold plating. Not worth my time in my opinion. I've seen much better boards, so I'm just going to process these like normal. But oftentimes, you'll, just like this one, you'll find them gold plated. Um, and even if you're not going to remove the gold plating, there's still a lot of nice components on here to remove with a heat gun. Not a microwave quality components. Um, that will have some pretty good yield. Or at least I found they do. I can see there's a chip there. A whole bunch of little, um, monolithic ceramics all over these boards. Um, so, you know, oftentimes the backs will be almost completely plated on the back. Usually I find the best kinds are hues nets. If you ever get any hues net dishes, be sure to tear, tear apart their boards because you'll find very thickly gold plated components. But yeah, um, they're all different. Some of them don't have any gold plating, but a lot of them do. So uh, be sure to keep your eye out for those. And also be aware that the ends here um, that mate to the, um, that have a con I guess your connector um, will be connected to the coaxial cables. So be sure to remove the coaxial cabling from inside um, this. So there should be a very long um, tube, or kind of like a stem, that goes connects to the actual dish. So um, be sure to kind of pull it apart and remove these uh, coaxial cables because that's what will be holding it to the uh, dish. And um, be sure to remove the uh, connectors as well. These will be brass or stainless steel. But in my case, these were actually brass. So um, these aren't too hard to remove once you remove the board. You can pretty much go on the front and just get yourself a nice um, front cutters, not side cutters, and just kind of move them back and forth and the insulation will easily separate um, and you should be able to get a nice clean piece of um, 
cast aluminum. So yeah, uh, in short, some nice gold boards, um, some connections, some cast aluminum, and a little bit of steel, and that's pretty much it. So if you found that video interesting, please uh, like the video, share it with your friends, comment, tell me what you thought about it, what I could improve next time, and if you have anything new you want me to scrap, please comment that suggestion in the comments below. So, um, without that, without further ado, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.